<laughs> Hi. <laughs> What is this? I look like a mess. Do you know what? Gucci could call this, like put this on a runway and they would say it's fashion darling, fashion darling. Anyway, hello, good morning. What's good? I've just put the the first video for the renovation project, the new renovation project. How many times did I say I was excited in that video? I think you know that I'm excited, <laughs> but I'm very, very excited for that. And I've just been reading through some of the comments and oh my God, I really appreciate you guys when you leave me comments. Honestly, it makes me so happy and it just makes me like, remember why it's worthwhile putting content on YouTube because people watch it and you guys love it and I just love when you interact with me. I'm gonna insert a picture, a, a box that we got the other day from our friend, Lavina, but she got it from this brand called Cake Delights Newcastle, which I'd never heard of. This is the brand here. It's a lady called Aisha Ali, based in Newcastle, Wingrove Road. She made the most beautiful selection of cakes and treats. Wow, the quality, the quality definitely hit her up. You know that little book that I showed you a couple of vlogs ago, which I just put some inspirational bits in just for all of my DIY projects and I write up all of my DIY projects in there. Well, one of my kind of like Instagram friends, she messaged me the other day. She was like, hey Sade, can I send you something? And I was just like, oh, what are you gonna send to me? I was like, okay, cool. She sent me over this book. Um, an interior designer's visual diary and sketchbook. And the reason I'm showing you this is because first of all, she's just amazing. Her name is Chrissy, Chrissy's Corner. Well, her name's Chrissy. Her account is Chrissy's Corner. But she said, to Sade, love Chrissy. Oh, I can't even cope, so cute. But she sent this book and it's basically loads of different pages for you to kind of like plot out your project. So the first bit is a contents page, all your clients and lists. Sketches, you can write down all of the stuff that you need to buy, additional notes. You've got loads of space for drawings and stuff. And I just thought that was so cool because I didn't know you could get books like this. I'll link this down below for you. Some of you guys gave me some comments about the bathroom saying that you're glad that I'm not painting the tiles. So yeah, I think I'm gonna leave those definitely for now. I think we can definitely make it work. I've got the mirror glass processing guys coming next week, I think, to install the mirrored glass. So well, the mirror, so that's gonna be really fun. But I think this room project is gonna take me probably a couple of weeks, I reckon, just because it's just so much to do. We unearthed a random door behind the wall when we took down the wallpaper and it seems like now that needs to be plastered and there's a whole situation. So they're getting someone in to have a look to see if, like what a quote would be for plastering it, even though we were trying so hard not to plaster, but it is what it is. That just happens. Like when you start stripping down 40 year old wallpaper, you're gonna get some surprises, I'm sure. But it's all part of the fun. And you know what? I am loving it. I am loving it. I've got so much washing to do as well. Oh my gosh, this room, there's washing everywhere. My office is turned into the, the washing, the utility room, I swear. Anyway, catch you later. Hello, you can't see me. <laughs> is this better? Yay! Hello guys, it is day number two and it's very sunny, but it's also snowing. So I have a feeling the light exposure is gonna be up and down, up and down, so I'm sorry about that. But hey guys, it's day two of this little room makeover. Today, I'm not doing any demolition. I know you'll be upset about that, but we have got something exciting because I am gonna be painting this set of drawers underneath me. So this piece in particular has got quite a lot of dust settled on here and some little bits of grease just because I have been working in this room. So I haven't worked in it for a couple of days so all the dust is settled. So I'm just gonna wipe it all down with sugar soap. Then we're gonna go in with that 180 grit sandpaper just to sand down all of the edges, everything that we can possibly see that we want to paint over. We're just gonna do a couple of really fine passes with the sandpaper. You can do it by hand, which isn't as aggressive. I'm gonna be using an electric sander just because it's quicker, but I am gonna be making sure that I am using as a light touch and I'm not taking anything through to the underneath of that melamine. so weird taking that off. Would you actually believe, I mean, I believe it, I do stuff like this all the time. I don't have a paint vessel to, like a paint tin to roll my roller brush in. Honestly, why do I do stuff like this all the time? I did have a lot to do today, to be fair. I had a lot, a lot to do. Just, why do I do this? I've just had the nicest surprise. So when I was driving down there, 
da -da -da -da. I was driving, driving, and then I saw a saw like a workbench outside someone's house, but it looked like it was being left out for the bin men to collect. I was like, hey, what's happening with that? She's like, oh, it's broken, it's going in the trash. I was like, I'll take it, I'll fix it. So I've got a free new workbench as well. So it's similar to my old one that I also got for five pounds from Facebook Marketplace. So I've got two workbenches for five pounds, and all I need to do is fix the other one. And then I've got like a proper workstation for big pieces in the future, which is very, very good, so I'm very proud of myself right now. <laughs> hey guys, morning. There, I've quickly got some stuff to show you. So, do you remember, did I show you last week that I was making some small um, incense burners? I can't remember if I did or not. Anyway, there's gonna be a short reel that I've put together and I'll probably redo a, like a, tu tu a tutorial. I'm due for another kind of like small DIYs tutorial thing video. Um, I'm a very much like, like a candle lover, diffuser lover, anything that makes a house smell really good. I'm all here for it. And and I've never had incense sticks since I was like a, a much younger like kid basically so I decided to make a couple of incense stick holders I'm hoping that you can see it's very bright today but I made this little one here it's just got a square base to catch all of the kind of ash and it's got these two little circles and then in the top circle just pop my incense stick in there and then it just burns I tried this one the other day all the ash fell on it and then I just blew it off and it was fine but I'm gonna paint them and then mod podge them so they're kind of like waterproof and resistant and then I made this one which is I think is actually my favorite now it wasn't my favorite at first but now that it's all dried out I actually really like it so it's just like this small plate and then it's got this triangular shape in the middle and you stick your stick in the middle like that and then it burns and all of the ash will fall into this little dish again. That was it for the incense stick holders thing. So I've actually seen this like loads on Pinterest so much. Like you basically get, where am I? Basically get um, matchsticks. You put them all in this little pot and then underneath you put sandpaper. I've seen loads of people make it on YouTube. So I just thought I'd make one. A little packet of clay costs like three, four pounds. And then you can make so many cute little gifts like this for friends. I'm gonna paint all of them shock a neutral shade or black you put all the matchsticks in the middle so they just hold they just stay there and then you can put them next to like your candles and stuff and then when you need to light one you take out the matchstick you strike it underneath on the on the sandpaper and then that's it that's uh, so clever so clever recently i saw on lone fox's video he did some kind of like he made a bowl, like an ornament bowl, like a decor piece, but from these. He actually got the idea from another lady, so I'll try and link both their videos down below. You have to like boil it down and then mold it around whatever you want to mold it around. So I'm going to try and do that. It looks looks like it's going to be quite simple. Then apparently it dries really quite like solid. Um I've got a couple of deliveries to open, so I thought I would come in here and open them with you. <coughs> oh, it's from dusk. What's this then? I haven't ordered anything. Whoa. Oh, what is this? What is this? So it says, Dear Sade, thrilled to share the new home fragrance range from Dusk. Love from the PR team. Whoa, we've got more candles. Look at this. This smells incredible. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that smells absolutely insane. No way that's chocolate with, with lavender inside. Surely not. No way. This is chocolate. Honey and lavender, handcrafted artisan dark chocolate infused with lavender and honey topped with dry, dried lavender flowers. That is gonna be a new experience for me. Like I am the chocolate monster and I love a bit of chocolate, but can you see? Can you see the lavender pieces in there? Wow. What really beautiful packaging as well. Oh, I've just ripped it. Oops. <laughs> um, looks like this. Oh, it's far too bright today, isn't it? it? Looks like this. And then we've got the Serene candle, which looks like, I like their packaging, it's very simple. So it's just got this really um, small detail on the front with just the name and the scent of it. Lavender and pine. Oh, that's nice. I can smell the eucalyptus as well, actually. Oh, that's nice. Is nice. Is nice. Very, very good. This is perfect timing because I need to start to um, basically remove all of the old paint from the architraves and the skirting in the room that I'm redecorating. Um, I need a hot gun in order to kind of melt the paint off to then scrape it off. And I think there is a hot gun in here, if I'm not mistaken. Whoa, that's so big. This is a company called ITS. 
I'll link them in the description box down below for you so you can have a look. But they're basically like an online retailer where you can get loads of tools from. Also got a router, which I am so excited about. Like, do you actually understand that I'm basically a woodworker now? I've got a router, very excited to use this, especially because I'm gonna start building like cabinets and stuff in the future, like in the very near future. So having a router is gonna be amazing. I need to get to grips with how to use it but how, how exciting is this? Oh, fantastic. By the way, they sent it out yesterday, so their delivery time is spot on, but I've got the hot gun here, the hot tool. So I'm gonna be using this. You can see the person here is stripping paint, which is exactly what I'm gonna be doing today. So I need to make sure I bring this with me. I'm gonna pop it. I'm gonna leave, leave it on my lap for now. I don't wanna leave it. And then I've got some clamps. I've realized how much I say that I waffle. First of all, I really do waffle, but when I come to editing and I'm always saying, anyway, I'm just waffling guys. And then a few of you have started to comment in this comment section, which made me laugh so much. So yeah, sorry to waffle, but I'm gonna head over to the house now. So yeah, I'm gonna bring these and then we're gonna start never done this before but starting to melt the paint off i hope it comes off nicely because it's really old really old paint but we'll see we'll give this a bash have you seen these by the way have you clocked these by the way can we just do you remember what these look like wow i'm just saying do you know what actually i'm just saying you don't have to compromise quality when you upcycle upcycling doesn't mean it's gonna look like a diy job or it's gonna look secondhand or it's gonna look like you did it yourself, like it doesn't, it doesn't have to look rubbish. It can look quality. The piece de resistance of this, I'm very, very excited. b q have got these beautiful handles. They are called the Ducker bar handle, the Ducker. Um, you can get them in a brushed gold or a antique, no, a brushed brass or an antique brushed brass. This is the antique brushed brass and then the brushed brush is like a very bright gold which I was initially going to get but then I was like actually it's a bit blingy so I feel like these will be a much more like nice like a bit more like sophisticated you know not so like gold and blingy so all I need to do is drill some holes just to align these aside from that I'm just going to let things dry for a little bit because I've only just painted that about an hour and a half two hours ago so I'm just going to let it dry for a little bit longer I've been using my hot tool gun to strip some paint and I'm gonna show you first of all what it, the tool gun looks like and then what I was doing but for watching me actually do it I'm gonna try and do that tomorrow so I don't know if it's gonna be in this vlog or it might be in another vlog but yeah that's intense like you need a proper you need a proper mask on I don't know if this is a proper mask it's got it's got um a filter in it but I don't know if I need a respirator so I'm gonna do some research tonight just to make sure that I'm doing all of the kind of code of conduct when it comes to hot tools and how to use them <clears throat> how to use them so that I'm not doing any damage to either the door or myself which is really important you know I can't be I can't be damaging this what you seen this face no I'm joking but I'm not joking <laughs> so this is the hot gun it's by black and decker i actually got it from a company called its i'm going to leave them in the link down in the description i think i spoke to you about this in this vlog yeah i did because i unboxed it didn't i yeah so its their website was typically aimed at contractors people who do this sort of work day in day out not for your average diyer but they have realized that actually a lot of people really enjoy diy and why can't they have good tools as well so, so they've opened up a section on their website where they've got a cultivated space for diy tools that they think will be really really useful for the average G uh, DIY Joe or Joey. What's the girl's name of Joey? Sade. <laughs> so this has got two functions, a, a lower temperature and a higher temperature. I think the low is at 460 degrees Celsius. The high one is at 600 degrees. Wow. So this got very hot and it's been cooling down for about half an hour and I can still feel that it's quite warm. I had this mask on and I had goggles. I actually am going to make sure that I bring garden gloves with me tomorrow so that my hands are protected as well because if I touch that metal portion, it was glowing red. Red. So we don't want to be messing around with that. This is the door situation. So you can see quite easily where I've started to peel that section off of the door here. So it was all this before, and you're probably thinking, why are you doing that? But just in case you're wondering, that you can tell that this paint has been painted several times. It's just so thick and gloopy, and it just doesn't look like, it just doesn't look good. Like when I come down here, you can see where the paint has been left to just, they've obviously painted it with a door on. You can see bubbles of the paint 
in certain lights. You can see that they've painted the hinges and all sorts. And if, if, it, if I'm here to do this job, I wanna do it properly. So I'm gonna strip all of that off. And um, I actually made a start on the, the architrave as well. And the architrave came off really easily and I've been able to get down to the wood. With the door, it seems to be a little bit harder. I'm assuming that it would have been painted with the same stuff. However, it just is coming off, but I think I need to take off the top goopy layer and then I'm just gonna really just quickly sand it down. I'm just gonna really quickly sand down the rest of it. Or I'm thinking I might just invest in some paint stripper, just take the door outside one day and then just literally lay a paint stripper on and then just carve it off because that actually took me, like this whole little section probably took me about 10 minutes. And you can see in relation to the size of the rest of the door, I don't wanna be standing there for half an hour stripping paint both sides that's one side i'm not going to do a drop half for ass i'm going to do both sides and the inside is actually even worse way worse so i'm actually going to probably just paint strip that and then um the rest of it in here we don't have to worry about all this because i'm taking it out but i will be needing to do the trim of this door as well honestly every time every time i see those drawer fronts i'm just like wow i can't get over them oh so, sorry why do i do that in every video I zoom right into my face right this is a joke so i went to b and yesterday and i spent 70 pounds and they didn't send me a money off voucher i went today again and i spent 35 pounds and they've just spent sent me a voucher i mean it was only to save three pounds but still they need to be sending me vouchers way more than this because i buy a lot from them <laughs> A lot actually and then when i go home i need to do some planning of how to order stuff we need to get some like mirrors and stuff for the room so we need to do some click and collects slash need to do some deliveries oh i was just listening to the receipts podcast absolutely love that podcast anyway look I am obsessed. I'm considering not bothering to do the hot tool in today because what's the time? I might just go home and start editing. I've got so much footage. Not that you guys really care. I mean, you're watching it, but like I've got so much to do and the hot tool in is only gonna get me so far. And we need to know if we're plastering that little alcove from the last vlog. Yeah, I think I might leave it and then like make some decisions over the, the evening. So you might see here, Oh, I don't, I don't think you can see actually. I've painted the wall with something called Egyptian cotton and it's coming off a lot, a lot, a lot more like mauve than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was gonna be a really warm, just a standard typical neutral color. So can you see here? So this wall is white. This to me is, I can see the, the neutralness of it, but it is a little bit purple. But then on this wall, where it is already purple, it's coming off like the colour I expected it to be. I'm very confused. I'm going to actually give it a second coat because maybe, maybe it needs a little something else. So I've got the mini tester here. If you look at it there, it just looks like a standard kind of creamy colour. But then when I start rolling it, it just, I don't know, it's really weird. Yeah, I don't know, that wall is still coming off really purple. It is, right? I'm not going crazy. And then this bit is already the shade that I was expecting it to be. This is so weird. Because this is the exact shade I expected it to be. Can you see this? This, I know that there's shadow cast already, but that shouldn't be that much of a difference. This is like white cream on that wall there. We can see it, definitely. This is like a purple and a very dark color. I don't understand this witchery. I really don't understand it, but I'm gonna put it on here on this wallpaper. I don't know if this wall's a bit funny. See, you can see there, that's the color that I was expecting it to be, but they don't correlate. They're two totally, totally different colors. I'm gonna roll it out on here. See, now that's really yellow. Maybe it depends on the colour that's underneath. They are two totally different colours. Sorry. Sorry. They are two totally different colours. Can you see that? That's basically like a corn colour. That is purple. That is purple. What is it about this wall that's making that purple? I know that I'm not going crazy now. <laughs> I know definitely that I'm not going crazy now because that is so yellow. That is so like mauve velt like lilac-y, lavender, purple, mauve colour. I'm gonna stop, stop pondering on that because it's not doing me any good. I'm gonna Google maybe if there's some funny stuff with old walls and not taking colour properly. Or if you know, if you've done reddos and stuff before, do let me know in the comments because 
your girl's confused. Your girl's mad confused. Anyway, on that point, make sure I'm not leaning on any paint. I'm gonna sign off the vlog because I'm really excited to get this one to you as well. Subscribe, put your notification bells on. If your notification bell is greyed out, on your app because I get this question quite a lot it means you haven't you haven't allowed your phone to turn notifications on from YouTube so when you click on it it should take you to your settings and then it will say do you want to put notifications on for YouTube if you want to subscribe and put your notification bells on then that means when I post a video you'll get a little notification you'll get a little ding and then you can come watch my video when you want to. Just thought I'd say that just because some people get a bit confused. And um, another thing to note, because so many people don't realise this, if you're watching on TV, which I know a lot of people will be, because I'm always watching YouTube on the TV, you can still like a video. It really helps me out um, because it pushes my videos further out to YouTube to get recommended and stuff so other people can find me. And all of my work edited and stuff is kind of worth it as well. So it really helps me out. Um, but if you're on your TV, if you use your remote, go to the three dots, scroll along, you'll see a play button and it should say subscribe if you click it and it will change colour and it means you're subscribed to me. Oh no, I wasn't talking about subscribing, but if, if, you're, if you wanna do that, you can do that. Otherwise, you can scoot onto the thumbs up and you can um, like my video because that really really helps me out yeah I just wanted to say that because you guys are so lovely leaving me comments and stuff all the time I always get comments like you deserve so many more viewers how do you not have any more subscribers and stuff and I'm just like oh thank you so much and I'm like because I need help be pushed out so if you want to share my videos or anything it would be much appreciated I'm not trying to be beggy I'm just explaining because I know some people don't don't really know how it all works so that's it from my stance anyway I'm gonna sign out guys I'm gonna finish my coffee I'm gonna head back I'll catch you in the next one bye Mwah.